They just keep coming, and I'm really excited about this one. It's called the Paper Pattern Tissue Paper Posy, and I can't say it again, so I'm not going to ask you to. We use these, just find old patterns. I'm sure a lot of you have them in your attic or in your basement or somewhere around. We also sell them. You can always inquire with us, but we do sell them for $5 a pack. So to make your tissue paper flower posies today... You will need your cloth covered wire, your vintage pattern, glue sticks, glue gun, template, felt, and anything you wish to put in the center of your flower. Before PDF, we used to use tissue paper and it looks something like that so what I do I kind of keep it I, I just taught this at the Country Living Fair and the response was so great I thought let me just teach it again here so that anybody can watch it so what we do is we I purchased this from Clover Crafts I love them they sell these templates for flower making and Madeline will give you the link at the end of this uh, video so you can purchase them. I just basically grabbed, I'm going to cut this, I grabbed a stack just like that and I make sure that this fits around it. Now you can draw or you can just cut following this. I actually cut following this but drawing is just as easy and you'll find that these are some of my tissue paper. Some of them will fall away because they're too small because these are all folded in such um, sort of bizarre <laughs> configurations. But I love them because everybody, once they take a look at these bouquets, they're all of a sudden they're like, oh my God, it's tissue paper pattern. And uh, it's just a very nostalgic thing. So then you just kind of arrange them in a disarray. How about that? So basically what I do after I've used my template and sort of configured them in a disarray, I pinch the middle. Now remember, you can have something there. I don't, what I do, believe it or not, is I tip it over and sew. I actually sew through here to, just to keep it together. And then just like that, like magic, it forms a flower. And you just play, not even a lot, that's how the beauty of these tissue paper, is that you pinch it and it forms a wonderful rose. So then what we're going to do is, once you've pinched it, we're going to tip it over, like we did the last floral video, and we're going to take our fabric-covered wire once again, fold it at the end, sort of like a U, and then we're going to bend up, but once again, we're going to place it down with some hot glue. And then you can take any little felt piece and just put it over that until it dries. Be careful not to burn yourself because this is where you get burned. And you just leave it there for a minute and you tip it up and voila. You have these wonderful, wonderful, wonderful tissue paper flowers. So we just want to give you a little close-up of what's happening here. We taught you how to fold your wire. Then you're going to glue, hot glue that there. And then have some pre-cut punched out circles to cover and press so that you don't burn your hands. It's just a, an easy way to do it. And then you'll flip it over and start playing. Once you have several collected, what I like to do is cut a piece of felt. You know, an inch wide, half inch wide, an inch and a half wide. And wrap your base, just like that. Put a little hot glue here. Continue around. 
all the way to the end and then just hot glue again and if you have a little something it always looks a little sweeter with a little these are from Meyer Road but I you just tack a little bit so it gives it a nice nice finish I also want to show you what I did was I took some trim some sequin trim and I cut it and I just rolled it and hot glued it into the center which also made this just a little fancier so there you have you know your rolled up felt with a little decoration and you can also I like this one without and I like it without any centers but you can put buttons you can put these wonderful little um, tool frills that looks great and these little sequined I mean you can really have a good time the other thing I just want to show you in closing because I know you love these and they're all over Etsy you can buy them you know by the dozen and I also did made this little bouquet for a little girl how about that for a recital and just took some various colors again same technique very simple your covered wire put it on the back and then stick I uh, on the back of this you can see I stuck little pieces of paper to cover the floral wire just so that it's secure and then I wrap my felt around it and there you have a wonderful little bouquet Jennifer what are you making today mom I'm making paper flowers tissue paper flowers out of old patterns what a wonderful idea. Did you ever use these, Mom? No, I was never into sewing very much. Other things, but not sewing. You did a lot of crafts, yeah, Mom. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And you let me do the sewing. Yeah. <laughs> you went through college on your sewing. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us, and thank you, for, you know, to see my mom in the flesh. I know you guys wanted to see her, so... Thank you for joining us, Pat. Oh, I loved every minute of it. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>